obstacles. You rely on others to get you out of sticky situations. I want my lawyer! <laughs> then you need to watch the following program. You'll learn how to bear your emotions to the world. Yeah, baby! How to support your case with evidence. Show this to the judge. I am not impressed. And accept the help of others. Any ideas? Who knows what they're doing now? Plus, tips from our celebrity cast on how they avoid conflict. Table dance does not actually involve smashing a chick in the face with a table. Truth TV presents World's Dumbest Confrontation. And it starts now. I did not sign up for this. Outside an L.A. hotel, paparazzi wait for Jessica Simpson to show up. Come on out, Jessica. Jessica, Jessica. 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 Suddenly, an intoxicated bystander confronts one of the photographers. You know what you got? That's all you got! You know what you got? Come on! They were the worst fighters. All they did was fall down. They didn't even know how to throw a punch. That's going wild. They were opportunity fighting. He slipped. Maybe I can get him in. Whiff and a miss. I think the fact he's not wearing his glasses kind of explains a lot. Because he sort of fights like Mr. Magoo. Oh, Magoo, you've done it again. Oh, yeah, Shaka! After some more rumbling, this brawler claims victory. Ross Deals in the motherfucking Wu Tang Clan. Look at that white boy bleeding like a bitch. Bitch! I might be going out on a limb here, but I don't actually believe the gentleman in the velour jacket and the scarf knows the Wu Tang Clan. Yo, you know this fool, Rizza? I don't know this fool. Eventually, the Wu-Tang warrior scampers away, having proven once and for all that, well, actually, he didn't prove much of anything. Never fight a crazy guy. People, get that tattooed on the inside of your eyeballs. Never fight a crazy guy. But I'm friends with the Wu-Tang Clan. Okay, just let him go. <laughs> Police in Alabama respond to a report of a driver smashing his truck into parked cars. Copy that. 10-4, I'm on my way. But all they find is a neighborhood of quiet, empty streets. Yeah, I got no visual on the perp. Over. There's no sign of any troublemaker until... What are you ramming the cop car for? Come on, dog, oh, come on, you bastards. <laughs> the driver of the truck flees the scene, and backup units take up the chase. He doesn't want to go to jail. Don't you get it? Finally cornered with nowhere to run, the one-man demolition derby still refuses to give up. Wait, my truck's got airbags? Holy cow! This is not bumper cars at Disneyland. You're running from the police. I don't care. It's bumper cars for life. Ride or die. After this pointless confrontation, the dumb trucker is hauled from the cab and charged with felony assault, reckless endangerment, and resisting arrest. What more is there to say? Except get a ticket at the booth, stand on line like everyone else, and do the bumper cars, and then not go to jail. Some police confrontations get more extreme after the suspect is in custody. Consider this dramatic postscript to a drunk driving arrest in Florida. I'm on my lawyer! What the is this, man? Well, hey, I don't get a lawyer? Okay, you guys are laughing. You're all laughing. Sir, that mullet and those high tops are reason enough for you to be in cuffs.
Oh, I've been arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol, beverage, and or a controlled substance. Yes, I have. He's under the influence. You have been arrested for driving. He had an awesome comeback. Did you hear? He's under the influence. You have been arrested for driving under. You're under the influence. Snap! You've been arrested for driving while intoxicated, driving under the influence of an alcohol. Where's my boy, man? Or a controlled substance. You're now under the influence. Or full. Fail to submit. Test is the result of suspension. Then he falls on the floor like a three-year-old at Walmart that didn't get his toy. Or full. Fail to submit. I want my lawyer! I want my lawyer! I want my lawyer! Where's my lawyer, man? Or when the police have you and the evidence is mounting up and you don't have a lawyer and they haven't given you a test, there's only one thing to do. Fall on the floor and cry like a little bitch. You nailed it. The police book the crybaby crook and give him a timeout in a holding cell. I want to know who this guy's lawyer is, because at that stage of the game, if your lawyer is going to get you out of that situation, I want that lawyer. Where's my lawyer, man? Or control something. Coming up. Yeah, baby? A Hollywood starlet confronts her public. Partiers confront the limits of modern dance. A limber lady confronts bad news. Place under arrest. <laughs> and it's a cat fight. Uh, Britney Spears is unattractive. Who said that? When world's dumbest confrontations continues. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to submit some real size of blood exercises, okay? Florida cops have pulled this woman over for driving erratically. I never did this before. Well, I don't know if you have or not. I don't know. The woman refuses to present ID to the officer. Ma'am, I don't know who you are. I haven't seen you driving about you. Ma'am, I don't. You don't know who I am? You know who I am, don't you? You understand what I've asked you to do? A, B, C, D. E-F-G-H-I-J-A-I-K, elemental key. H-I-J-Z-W-Y. W-X-Y-B-Z-Z, whatever. Yeah, last time I checked, whatever was not in the alphabet. <laughs> Am I free to go? That's all right. She fails the sobriety test and promptly picks a fight with the officer's partner. Can I kick her ass when I'm all done? If you think you can. Oh, you bet your ass I can. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Then she gets some news that really puts her over the edge. Place under arrest. No, you're not. You're gonna stay still. She was angrier than Judy Gold, which is hard to tell. It's too bad she'll never have respect for the law again. She was so respectful up until this point. The woman is arrested and charged with DUI and battery. They put her in handcuffs and she still puts up a struggle. I've actually paid extra for that. I'd rather be dead than to deal with you. In the town of Eugene, Oregon, something terrifying is happening. It scared too. It just sort of drops out of the sky. Citizens are cowering in fear of an airborne menace. I'll come down here like three or four of them and some lady will walk by and just get hammered by them. What horrible plague has descended upon the Pacific Northwest? The Smoking Gun presents The Birds Final Confrontation. Look out! The birds are coming! Oh, oh, oh. Run for your lives! Uh, help me! There's a sparrow peeking my head! Uh, uh. Don't go for me, birds! Don't 
Go for Tanya Hardy. I haven't even made it on the deep list yet. <laughs> Nice neighborhood. I'm gonna go pick up some bread. You come back, your eyes are pecked out, your nipples are ripped off. What the f is wrong with you? The high flying harassers are actually blackbirds, a species known for fiercely defending their habitat. It would take one time for them birds to die by me, and I'm gonna give me a tennis racket. Yeah. Bang! Uh huh. Who next? Who wants some next? Come here, come back. Fire! Now this finally explains why Leif wears those ass bandanas all the time. He's protecting himself. Yeah, hysterical. <laughs> Most residents accept the bird's behavior as part of daily life, and some even enjoy them. <laughs> I would just like to say that I'm so sorry for being on your street. I love you. The dance floor is one of the last places you'd expect to find confrontation. But at the Duddy Fridays dance party in Los Angeles, fans of dance hall music don sexually provocative clothing, Hit it. pair off in couples, and break out a can of extreme dance whoop ass on their partner. <laughs> supposed to be fun, not painful. I'm not a doctor or anything, but I think that one girl dislocated her vagina. Not to be outdone, this couple attempts an even more challenging maneuver. <laughs> Yo, check this out. I got this right here, man. Right here. Hit the bullseye, baby. I got baby. this. Hit I got it in my sights, right too. Here, here I come. I'm coming to town. Ready? Who jumps off a of scaffolding to hump you? I like them when they just lay there. And for the grand finale, please don't try this at home or in a dance club. You'll probably get hurt, and you definitely won't get any booty. Yo, baby, take this table. Yeah, show you my table a party don't start till a guy throws a table at you. Table dance does not actually involve smashing a chick in the face with a table. I mean, watch out, Soul Train. This knocks that show on its ass and humps it with a table. <laughs> Police in Coxum City, Brazil, confront an unusual nuisance, a dangerous 24-foot anaconda with hundreds of razor-sharp teeth. It slithered into the town square looking for food. As they struggle to remove the reticulated reptile, Ouch! That hurt. You idiot, get a stick! Eat him! Does anybody know how to get the stick off my arm? I get the feeling that police aren't really trained for this. Like, maybe there have been some budget cutbacks and they've had to stop the giant snake training. Any ideas? Who knows what to do now? Pull his mouth apart. Pull harder. Pull harder. Oh, my God. It looked like Judy Gold when she yawns. It's terrifying. You know what, Brad? You've never seen a woman yawn, okay? Because that would mean that they would be maybe sleeping with you. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. Police finally pry their comrade's bloody arm from the vice-like jaws of the anaconda. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And the snake's plans for lunch on the plaza are scaled back. Shucks, I'm starving. Coming up. A punk band comes face to face with their furious fans. A tiger does an about face. 
You know how much that costs a massage parlor to have somebody pee on you? Ask Danny Bonadochi. Nick, you're an idiot. And it's time to face the music for this bare naked lady. You like? Woo! Mm. When world's dumbest confrontations continues. This is popular Chilean punk band Machuca. In addition to rocking out, they're also hardcore soccer fans. So in between songs, they give a shout out to their favorite team. Machuca, you did not just give a shout out to the University of Chile. Only problem is, this concert's on the turf of a rival team. It's like if I was to talk to my mom about how young my dad's third wife is at brunch. You don't do it. And then the one guy takes his guitar and is like, <laughs> Why didn't he swing the guitar? What if you got a guitar in your hand, swing it. After the confrontation, a bruised and bloodied Machuca subdues the crowd and finishes their set. If you can finish your show after a beatdown on stage, that's a good show. Way to go. The Smoking Gun presents Man vs. Beast. The Location. Denver, Colorado. In this corner, Elsie, the sod-kicking half-ton heifer who's just escaped from a rodeo. Her opponent, Ed, a state police officer armed with nothing but a knotted rope. Let the confrontation begin. A great rodeo. Yeah! Got him! Oh, no, don't. The bout soon turns into a tag team match. Ooh, that's a tough alpha. Don't let them men take you down. This is pretty much exactly what it's like to try to put me to bed. Um, I will not go down. I have way too much energy. It takes about five guys to do it. The winner of this confrontation, and in record time... Two seconds! No. <laughs> Ed. And it took eight guys, and they're proud of themselves. To the last minute, the cow was winning. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad Lokley, here at the Smoking Gun 911 Call Center. I'm here to explain to you how a 911 call line works. You call it when you have an emergency. That's it. Unfortunately, some people can't understand this idea. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? You have a spider in the house at night. You need someone to come in. Make sure we're okay. <laughs> Has the spider bitten anybody? He tried to bite the neighbor girl. Nobody's injured right now? No. <laughs> and you only have one spider? Mm-hmm. How big is the spider? It's just a little one. Well, that's five minutes of my life I'm never gonna get back. That's all for now. 911, this better be good. In North Carolina, a camera crew films a pair of Bengal tigers at an animal preserve. Are these the two biggest ones, right? 
There's another one back there that's... Between like five, I guess. Up close, the majestic felines display a regal bearing that befits their position at the top of the food chain. If you want to touch it. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. 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 I never thought there could be anything worse than maybe getting, you know, gored by a tiger. Oh. Yeah. And then we met this tiger. Oh. 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 That means that you like him? Or? Yeah, pretty much. He just kind of marked you. Oh. Oh. God, if he poops in my mouth, what, are we going to get engaged? Oh. Oh. This is classic. <laughs> the cat's marking his territory. You're too close. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, you're just gonna kind of smell like popcorn for the rest of the day. Oh. Tiger urine smells like popcorn. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now I'll never be able to eat popcorn again. Thanks. <laughs> How much that cost a massage parlor to have somebody pee on you? Ask Danny Bono, don't you? About a hundred bucks. Nick, you're an idiot. You want somebody to whiz on you, it's not a hundred bucks. Two grand minimum. Get out a little more often. Does anybody know anything but me? Coming up. And I like how to stop him from biting himself, they tase him. And a bunch of hot 20-something girls beat the <laughs> out of each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> when World's Dumbest Confrontations continues. <laughs> Trendy L.A. hotspot Le Deux empties out for the night with a famous face leading the exodus. <laughs> One tipsy reveler doesn't like all the attention Britney is getting and isn't afraid to say something about it. Britney Spears is an ugly bitch. Oh, no, they didn't. She is not ugly. Britney Spears is an ugly bitch. A group of Britney's fans don't take kindly to the remark. And cat fight. <laughs> This is probably the stupidest fight that's ever happened on the face of the earth. Uh, Britney Spears is unattractive. Who said that? I'm going to kick your ass. Don't you say that about Britney! You stupid skank! Britney's my girl! I'm gonna kick your ass, you stupid bitch! Imagine getting that upset over a Britney Spears comment. It's only in L.A. would that start a bar brawl. We're finished as a society. I hope you realize that. <laughs> It looks like Thunderdome after a while, too. Because it's like five drunk skanks enter, but only one will leave. Not the weave. Surely these women know to respect the weave. O-M-G. Is her hair okay? The Brit snit eventually breaks up before any of the combatants need to head into rehab. Girls aren't supposed to fight. They're supposed to be ladies. They're supposed to sit back and watch the men fight and then drive them home. In Seoul, South Korea, circus elephants put on a show for the locals. But a sudden loud noise spooks the beasts, sending them rampaging through the city streets. The petrified pachyderms then crash through the plate glass windows of a nearby restaurant. When Dumbo attacks. I couldn't tell what kind of restaurant this was, but obviously elephants love this guy's cooking. All of a sudden this little Korean lady comes, sneaks out of nowhere. You know why they would piss the elephants? The lady wouldn't show them the lunch specials. 
Firefighters and zookeepers team up to coax the elephants back into their cages. As the elephant left, the owner said, we don't get many elephants in here. And the elephant turned around and said, with these prices, you won't see many more. A masked man wielding a sawed-off rifle bursts into a South Carolina mini-mart. Yo, man, what's up? It's a stick up. Put your hands up, man. Despite being outgunned, the clerk confronts the robber. Oh, no, young man, that's not happening. Get out my gun, man! Uh, no! Get out, man! Get my gun! No one gonna let go. I'm not letting go of this gun. Get out, man! These guys at these mini-marts are getting tough. I'm not letting go! Let go! I'm not letting go! He was like the Bruce Willis of store clerks. It was like Die Hard at the 7-Eleven. Here we go, hey, mother <laughs> The guy shoots it five times. <laughs> five times and nobody got hit? It's pretty hot. <laughs> Excuse me, um, there is Buckshot in my Pringles. Do I get a discount or something? They should have put some music to it. Maybe you're gonna do that. Do si do. Pow. Do si do. Pow. I think classical would have been the better choice. Da 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 the confrontation spills out into the parking lot. I'm not playing with you. Where the clerk wrestles away the attacker's gun. Give me this gun. And rips off his mask. He recognizes the perp as a regular customer. Hey, I know you. And turns him into the police. The gunman is currently serving time for robbery and assault and battery. He could have saved time by just staying at home, shooting five rounds into the wall and kicking his own ass. Marion Eastwood runs an animal sanctuary in the English countryside. A few years ago, Marion was jilted by her fiancé on their wedding day. How could you? Luckily, she's put that nasty confrontation behind her and found a new soulmate. <laughs> Rachel. I mean, she's just to my, um, my com complete companion. Mommy, a good night kiss and snuggle up close, dear. Just because they call it porking doesn't mean you actually have to involve a swine. Can we spoon, darling? So what? I share the bed with my dog. Huh? What's the difference? My dog eats poo and, and garbage, and this thing eats poo and eats garbage. I mean, it's an animal. Animals are animals. What? Ooh, good, Rachel. I will not be surprised if Marion and Rachel get their own sitcom, The Marion and Rachel Show. On this episode, Rachel okay. objects to Mummy's new pet name. Oh, come here, bacon. Good job, love. Much, much. You need energy to love Mama. She just does everything a companion would do. She does everything that a companion would do except go to movies, dance, talk on the phone, listen, speak English shower, etc. She'll stay with me forever and ever. You never know, do you? She might fall in love with a boy and then move out herself one day. Leave her poor old mum. And then I'll cry. That's the ending episode of their sitcom. Rachel meets a boy and is like, oink you, Marion. And then Marion orders a BLT and a tear comes down. Let's see. Coming up, a shopping mall rent-a-cop gets carried away on the job. Whoa! Are you crazy? You're a security guard. You're not Magnum P.I. When world's dumbest confrontations continues. In a Florida department store, security <laughs> monitors two suspicious customers as they browse the aisles. Before long, a camera catches the duo engaging in larcenous behavior. Yo, is anyone looking? It's all good. No one's looking. Their bags stuffed with loot, the women exit the store. 
Now that's what I call shopping. Mm -hmm. That was pretty easy. That's gonna look hot on you, girl. They get as far as the parking lot before a security guard confronts them. Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Can I help you? All security here. I need to see what's in your bag. Yo, I didn't do nothing wrong. I need to see what's in your bag. And then the security guards walk up just like, excuse me, ladies, can we have a word? Oh, hell no! A second security guard shows up. What's up? You need help? Okay, can you please get out of the way? You got you on tape, man. You gotta I gotta show go. The man get what's in the no, bag. don't touch me. Ma'am, I am an officer of them all. You're surrounded. It's over. They got you, Sugar Snap. Ma'am, do not get in that car. Get in, get all in, right, let's well, go. Let's see you drive now. See you later, mall cop. <laughs> Jumps on the hood of the car like she just stole the Hope Diamond. You're a security guard. You're not Magnum P.I. Let them go. I did not sign up for this. It's only when he's thrown from the hood of the car that the gung-ho guard finally comes to his senses. And leaves the rest of the pursuit to the real cops. Next time, dude, just get the license plate. Assist driving this car with me on the hood. Please stop. I need to get back to the Arch Julius. I'm serious. The Smoking Gun presents Man versus Beast. In round one, Beast was beaten by Man. Two seconds. No. Now, bout number two. Weighing in at over three tons, Kai, the killer whale. And representing man at a svelte 185 pounds, Kai's trainer, Steve. During their daily performances at the San Antonio Aquarium, Kai swims in gentle circles around Steve. Big surprise, you're working with an animal called a killer whale. Help me out, help me out, help me out here. Quick, quick, pull me out of the water. The other trainers realize something's going on. And they're like, give me your hand, let us rescue you. And the whale is like, oh no, you don't. Kai eventually calms down as Steve whispers some soothing words, bringing the battle to an end. Kai, if something's on your mind, talk to me about it. Just talk to me. that! Ha, ho, ho. It's not a dog or a pony, okay? <laughs> huh? Steve chalks up the attack to Kai's playful nature, promising to let bygones be bygones. 17 years of training with animals, and I've never had an experience like that. Kai's response? <laughs> Throughout the animal kingdom, there are two very different ways of dealing with deadly confrontations. Naturalists call it fight or flight. But these unusual goats have developed a third response. Fainting. Grr! I'm gonna eat you. <coughs> the breed has a genetic defect that causes their muscles to seize up when they're frightened. These things are hilarious. I would never leave my house. I'd just be going boom, <coughs> boom, <coughs> boom. <coughs> you just walk out there and, and scare them a little bit, and boom, they'll fall over. And, and it doesn't hurt the animal. It doesn't bother them a bit. <coughs> How do you know that that doesn't bother that animal? Oh, I'm get you. Bet that makes you feel like a man, doesn't it? I scared the crap out of that goat. 
The breed has become such a phenomenon, they've spawned fainting goat festivals, featuring goats screened by an official oversight board. Just wait one minute. There's actually an international fainting goat association. Bah! We do need to see a picture of the goat either falling over or stiffened up in order to be registered with our registry. Who is defrauding the goat fainting community with goats that don't faint? Whoever it is is a sick son of a bitch. Bah! High in the Hollywood Hills, a film rap party is in full swing. But when one of the actresses gets into a fight with her co-star... Hey, baby, what's your problem? You're my problem! She decides to take the party on the road and confronts highway motorists with her naked body. Woo! Yeah, baby! You don't mind with her. She's, uh, a right now. On what? Turns out it was a rap party for a porn film. Yeah, just another high-heeled, silicone-enhanced, drunken skank in L.A. I'm so proud of my city. What could possibly offend a porn star to make them run outside? What, what would they be like, oh, no, that's too much? I ain't taking no more My contract said three and that was it. You all can go to hell. This is a public street and I'll walk with you. You've done something hardcore. I grew up in Ohio. I moved out to L.A. for the occasional just porn star meandering door to door like, like a gift from God. Can I get in? I actually thought it was Tanya Harding at one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want some of this? Where are you guys going? What are you looking at? Don't look at me like that. What? Emergency personnel cover the woman up and charge her with indecent exposure, leaving her many new fans frustrated and a bit confused. What was she doing? She's probably not reciting Shakespeare. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. confrontations are down for the count. I saw you my table there. Only one remains standing. <laughs> Find out what tops the list when World's Dumbest Confrontations continues. East Lake, Ohio. This man is in police custody after a drunk driving arrest. It's his 13th drunk driving arrest. I feel like after 13 DUIs, it shouldn't be jail. You should just be put to sleep. Does that mean you don't want to read along with me? But driving under the influence isn't this guy's only nasty habit. Dude, who, the, who bites themselves? Yeah, I'll show them, these cops. I'll show them. Ah! <laughs> Stage! Ah! Knock it off! Knock it off! Knock it off! And I like how to stop him from biting himself, they tase him. Isn't that really tomato, tomato? The only time I really bite myself is when I'm making love to myself. And then, then it's more of a nibble. After declining the right to an attorney, the man vows to present his own briefs to the judge. Now, if that was a criteria by which to get out, I never would have been arrested. I think they should make him do that in court. All right, what did you want to show the judge? Bust it out. Approach the bitch. You present your evidence. I am not impressed. 15 years and some Viagra. The man's attempt to beat the penal system fails to stand up in court. He is sentenced to 16 years in prison. Show it to the judge. 
That's how you know he wasn't serious. Oh, look at this, six foot eight Jew. How are you? <laughs> that punk ass bitch screeched to work on this show. Wait, what? God, I hate him. That's so funny how you incorporated another cast member into the whole joke. What's up? Oh, you know what's up. Look at us. Hey, is Leif Garrett in next? Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys are really desperate. I'm doing this the, the until they give me my own show on True TV. What That's are we? What, what is she doing? She gets to watch I my. Put my makeup on. Look at me. I'm like, the f the f do it in the men's room. <laughs> is this thing on? I hate you all. All right, see you more, Nick. No, we're out of here. Beautiful.